Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Now, as I said last time, I have updated to 0.18.2. Unfortunately, as a result of that, there's been some changes. So here we are on board the Skylab vessel, as I called it. Uh, is it wobbling? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, but there's this little problem where the craft that's already out here uh, it doesn't have the amount of RCS fuel on board that it should. Um, now, at first I was thinking it would have so little that it wouldn't be worth keeping it up and I should just deorbit it. Looking at it now, I'm thinking it actually has enough to, to where it warrants keeping it up here. However, I redesigned the modules and want to relaunch all the modules. So, we're going to deorbit it. Yep. And I'm turning the wrong way. Woohoo. Yeah. Especially because it has a broken module attached. The hub is too small. The, you know, it's just generally not as good as it should have been. So we're going to deorbit it. And uh, as a result, we'll get to see a cool deorbiting uh, thing. Deorbiting thing. Yeah. So, of course, I need to... Okay, we're just gonna... Actually, um... I think we have enough fuel here. Yeah, we can just go ahead and set the periapsis down to like 10,000. And then, uh... Oh, it started going up again. Oh! The balance of thrust, uh... Started screwing us over. I didn't even think of that. Right, time for some RCS. Yeah? Yeah, we're just gonna gonna hope we can uh, just finish this off right. Let's let's turn on the lights. I don't remember where the lights are and what we only have lights on the tug. See, this thing doesn't have enough lights either. We should have more lights. Anyhow, we're going to uh, going to try to get this down to 10 kilometers like that. Now, what we need to do is turn off the RCS because that's just wasteful. We need to decouple node and we're now on the station. We don't want to be on the station. We want to be on the other vessel. So we're going to get on here now. If possible, we're going to uh, eject these fairings if that's at all possible. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, Good, that's on a deorbit vector. Okay, so we're just going to turn this way. I'm going to turn on RCS, and we're just going to... And now we're going to turn prograde, and we're going to speed back up to orbital velocities. Does this thing not have an SAS on board? Apparently not. So, yay. Manually, manually controlled. Oh, we're already in orbit. <laughs> Of course, we don't need to burn nearly as long with uh, only this bit. So now we're going to switch back to the Skylab, and we're going to get to watch it deorbit. Yeah. Hopefully on the daytime side. Um, hopefully I didn't screw that up. That would have been really dumb of me. I'm going to turn off the SAS. I'm going to maybe turn on the RCS. Yeah, I'll turn it on, and we'll see how far we get without dying. Also, I think I should have, uh... <clears throat> I should have, uh, what do you call it? Should have deorbited at a different time. Uh, too late for that now. We're coming down, whether you like it or not. Even though I'm going to try and thrust up a bit with this, uh... It's not going to be particularly helpful with the amount of RCS blocks on here that are just, uh... Wasting all our fuel. So many. Go away. Come on. Nope, not that one. Yeah. Basically, I have new modules, and these ones I'll actually allow a download because they'll actually be decent enough for me to think it's worth giving a download. And, etc. So, yeah, we're just going to waste all our monopropellant trying to deorbit.
I spent all that energy trying to trying to keep us from falling too quickly and uh, so now we're actually going back into orbit uh, because I don't understand how to deorbit a station properly apparently Oh, I just noticed how crooked the hub is docked from the solar panels, but that's all right. I'm gonna deorbit this anyhow. The next one I launch, I'll try to uh, dock it up. I'll try to line up my docking a bit more. Not that much, but you know, I'll I'll try a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, this actually looks pretty cool from this angle. Hey, is that the KSC? Those uh, dots on the water, because uh, it's glitching out a bit. And there's a little runway island over there. Except you can't see the island; you can only see the runway because it's not loading properly. That's the runway, all right. That little strip of pixels is the runway on the water because the thing won't load it in right. It's kind of funny. Oh, we're in space again. Do do do. Do do do. do. Oh, it's dusk and we're entering the atmosphere. Can we make it till dawn? That is the question. Can we make it till dawn? Also, will my computer overheat or survive this mission? Because seriously, it is cooking. Is is that our light over there? What what is what is that light down there? That's not our light. We don't have a light facing that way. Interesting. Whatever. Ooh. Ooh. Are we gonna make it till dawn? Oh, it's starting to be dawn. Are we really at 25? Oh, hey, look, an abort button. I don't think it'll do us much good. Yeah, I didn't think so. There's no abort sequences on board this at this time. Oh, there went our solar panels. We didn't need those anyhow. Where'd they go? Damn, they disappeared, like, instantly. That's how fast we're entering, I think, or something like that. Oh, now we're just falling down, pretty much. Uh oh, you hear that wind in the background? Right. That startled me, but was totally worth it. And here we are with the uh, tiny little crude bit of that station. Right, we're gonna... Huh. We're gonna go to, I think, Periops or so. I don't know, right about... Right about here. 
and we're going to test the uh, emergency deorbit system, which also means if it doesn't work that we're going to be stranded in orbit, because, yeah. So let's see. I want to make sure I fire the decoupler and these engines first. Also, I want to make sure I get back on 90. I mean, not 90. Well, 270, actually. But what I meant to say was get back on the uh, vector to deorbit. And um, here goes nothing. We also just left a piece of space debris in orbit. I didn't even think about that, but yeah. Now we got debris in orbit because of that. Let's see what our paragraph 66 apopsis is still above the atmosphere. Which is why it's a good thing we, uh... <coughs> well, that would deorbit over a very long time, but, um... I'm not very patient. Let's hope that helps us. As well as give us some spin. Okay, parachutes have been deployed. Apsops is still above the atmosphere, and that's barely below the atmosphere. So this will deorbit, but it'll take a while. And, uh... I don't think you want to bother waiting on that. Oh, hey, look! Debris! Finally, debris! Woohoo! Shows up the way it's supposed to. I think if I go persistence file editing, I can edit all of these other ones to be debris like they're supposed to be. And then we'll only see the stations out here orbiting.